Hey y'all, been a while. Been doing a lot of stuff around here. So I've got uh, a couple projects finished. I had this sweet gum stump ground out so I can build my deck. I'm fixing to build a deck right off the front of the house right here between those two windows. It'll start right there at that window on the left, and it'll end at the window on the right, and then it's going to come out 16 feet from the house. So it's 25 feet wide by 16 feet off the house. So I've got to take up all this concrete right here. This piece of concrete has a crack in it where the uh, this tree behind me here that had the stump ground up hurricane a couple years ago almost laid that tree over and there's a root from that tree that goes right underneath this concrete right here and it lifted this concrete up and cracked it so I'm going to I'm going to get a concrete saw and I'm just going to take it from down there and just go straight across and just kind of even it up and that's where my new steps are going to sit well not new steps but well this new steps that I built right there I just replaced the treads on it and uh, so those are going to be sitting over here and going up to the porch or to the deck but anyway so I got that ground out I've just filled it in with a little bit of dirt I've cleaned up all the all the uh, wood chips there's still a few laying around but not much and then let's see way let's see if I can get this thing to work properly there we go Right there, you can still see just the barely the remnants of a pine stump. That little, those little black things out there, what's left of the pieces of logs that I threw on top of the stump to burn it out. So I worked on that for, well, I don't know, guys. Burned the fire on it for approximately four days. Then, then I installed this gate. Six by six posts. This uh, ground right here is, uh, I guess they call it tailings, and that's when they grind up an asphalt road somewhere. So there's about a foot and a half of tailings covering the surface of this ground right here. So I had to dig down into it with a post hole digger, just a hand post hole digger. Dug down three feet put these posts in they're good and level solid I put two bags of concrete in the bottom of each hole with it with the posts and then poured just a little bit of water in there and then packed dirt in on top of them let it set for two days and then I installed the gate so I don't have any help around here so I did all this by myself works pretty good Keeps the people out of the driveway now. I don't have all these idiots pulling up in my driveway at 3 o'clock in the morning and parking. Which is what's been going on for the past three years since we moved here. These people just seem to think that this is a place where they can come and park and 
drink and do their drugs or whatever the hell they want to do just all hours of the night and another project that I'm working on got me a little tripod set up right here and I'm fixing to yank these crepe myrtles I've got three of them right here this uh, tripod is three four by fours and then I've got a piece of all thread holding them together with lock nuts on both ends and then I've got a piece of chain attached to that and I've got a, um, a three-quarter ton I believe it's a three-quarter ton yeah I've got a three-quarter ton chain hoist that I, that I just bought yeah it's three-quarter ton and I just bought that and a 6400 pound um, strap to tie around the bottom of the tree and uh, I'm gonna yank uh, I'm gonna yank those three crepe myrtles out of the ground there and then I'm gonna just on the right on the edge of the driveway right where the truck is parked right there just that follows it right across there there's a little ridge right there and I'm gonna plant those on the ridge so they get more sun because uh, the whole time that they've been here they'll put on leaves but they don't never put on any blooms they don't get enough sun and they haven't gotten enough sun because of all these trees that were back here in the all the way out there all those trees were so tall that they blocked the sun by the time the sun got over the top of the house and then this was a sweet gum tree which I've started burning but it's it's taken forever to burn on it and this is another pine stump that I just lit on fire a couple days ago so I dig out around it it's still hot right now it's uh, the whole inside of the stump is still uh, hot coals it's uh it's still red if I brush all that debris off the top of it right there it'll start glowing red so it's just slowly burning through I'm in no rush for that it's not in my way right now and here's my uh, half inch thick steel pipe that I'm going to be using for my charcoal retort and there's two white barrels right over there and I've got an oak stump right there that I got to burn out and that's just some wood that I'm drying up to make uh, uh, to make biochar out of I'm fixing to take these uh, I've got two of these um, four by four um, goat panels is what they call these and so I've got two of them they're 16 feet long five foot high so I'm gonna cut them in half and I'm gonna make a rack and put a roof over the rack but I'm gonna make a rack with four shelves and do this on it I'm gonna lay these uh, put a put a cover over the top of it just a lean-to type cover so that I can dry this wood properly most of this stuff is you know pretty close to dry it gets a little bit of rain every now and then whenever it rains but it hasn't been raining much lately so we're good there this is where the, the old little pink shed used to be this is the remnants of it I took all the tin off of it and everything the wooden frames are two of them are up underneath the boat shed and there's one right there and then there's another one down at the end of that this gray shed right here I gotta do a little work on the roof of this gray shed it's it's got a couple leaks in it I need to fix those but this is my prized possession right here had two Mexicans here and uh, they just installed this uh, Saturday all day Saturday they were here and they put everything together um,
they put everything together up they worked here and last until oh I guess it was probably about 8 30 9 o'clock last night Think you can see in there so now I've got to get me a floor port in here which I'll probably do myself I'm not I'm not sure what kind of floor I'm gonna put in here yet I got to level off the ground first it's 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 the ground is higher on this side than it is on this side you can see daylight underneath there but you can't over here we had to dig down but uh, yeah came out pretty nice I can see the I can see daylight up at the very ridge where they put the cap on top of the ridge you can see daylight up in there so I'm gonna have to get some spray foam and spray all the way down that same with the uh, edges up there I'm gonna have to put spray foam up in there in order to keep the wasps at bay and on this side also the same thing but uh, yeah, so they they came back today, Sunday, and worked for about two hours and finished up. They put the roof on it and, and the cap, everything else, just perfect. Those were some hard-working fellas that came in here today and yesterday. They definitely earned their money. Man. I, uh, changed the design a little bit when they got here, which was no problem for them. They said they could do it any way I wanted it. So I had them put, uh, it was originally set up for the, it was originally set up so that the two garage doors would be on one end, which was going to be that end down there. And then the man door was going to be right over here. And this is, and then I was going to cordon off a 10 foot by Oh, probably a 10 foot by 12 foot area these these three panels there there and there and then I would come out halfway at the 10 foot mark and uh, build a storage room and have the man door right there in the middle so that my wife would have a place to put all the stuff that we will have in the house that we want to store and not keep in the house but then I decided against it and I decided to put one garage door down there and so the the storage room is now gonna be this full area right in here starting at the edge of the door right there and it's gonna come back three panels so it'll come back to right here so I'll have a uh, about a I guess it's about a nine foot uh, nine foot by twelve foot span for the uh, storage room and I had them put the man door right there <laughs> so that's uh, pretty much you see all these wood chips that I got right here these this whole pile of wood chips right here came out of the front yard where I had the sweet gum stump ground out and this is where I was originally going to put that building that uh, 20 by 41 and I was originally going to sit it here between my boat shed and the shop and it would have fit perfectly inside here 
except that the ground was so unlevel and we had a big pine stump right here I had them grind that out and I started getting ready for it and every time I put a, a shovel in the ground or something I ended up with stuff like this right here this still tree roots going all through this ground back here so I couldn't I couldn't level this ground off without having a stump grinder come back and do more more stump grinding and uh, so I just decided I'd put it up there I got a whole pile of junk right there it's mostly bottles and you know different kinds of bottles and cans and stuff like that that I've been I had projects planned for those but they've kind of gone to the wayside now We've got other other issues that are more important. And uh, see, I've got a lot of cleanup still to do. But every bit of that that's out there, all those logs, I got a I got a stack of logs back over there. And I got a bunch of a bunch of branches and you know stumps and stuff like that. There's all kinds of stumps out there to be burnt. And a, a bunch of them will rot on their own, but the biggest ones will probably get burned. But yeah, so that's that's what I've been up to for the past few weeks. The next project, like I said, is the uh, deck on the front of the house, and then. Uh, I'm building a uh, a trailer. I'm building a small trailer to uh, that's going to utilize that same chain hoist. And I've got some special material handling clamps that I'm getting. And the uh, the trailer that I'm going to build, I'm going to build it out of four by six lumber treated lumber and do some special joinery on it and everything to make a wagon out of it I'm going to use uh, some of these old lawnmowers that I've got over here I'm going to use the wheels off of them for the uh, for the wagon and the wagon is going to be designed in a manner that I can back it up to this pipe right here put my clamps down on the sides of it and hoist it up just enough to move it it's gonna it's gonna have a trolley in the center of the wagon or trailer it's gonna have a uh, it's gonna have four by four posts on the corners and then a uh, an I-beam uh, approximately three and a half to four feet long will be in the center of the eye um, the center of the uh, four by fours and they'll have a trolley uh, on it on the uh, eye beam so that I can lift this up from the back end of the trailer and then lift it up and slide it in on the front end of the trailer so that I can move it around and what I'll do, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this for double duty. I'm going to use it to make biochar. And then when I'm not using it to make biochar, I will lift it up, put it on the trailer, and then carry it around and set it down over these stumps that I want to burn out of the main part of the yard to start with. And then uh, load them up with some wood and just let them burn. So... And then I got about uh, eight sheets of uh, roofing metal that the uh, guys that put that building up right there, these were just some extra sheets that they had left over from other jobs. And he said he didn't want them, didn't need them. So he left them here for me. So there's my, there's the roof for my lean-to that's going to go up over those the uh, drying racks for the uh, for the biochar wood material so now I got like I said I got the